All right, what's going on dudes and welcome to the trail mix mod for Minecraft Pretty nifty neon pig launcher there, huh? Huh? Yeah, we'll get to it in uh, just a moment I'm hoping he doesn't land on our chests over there that have all our stuff. Kaboom! <laughs> Let's start off with some basics, all right? This is made by the same guy that did the portal gun mod. iTune, iChun. I know I've been told how to pronounce it in the past, but it's one of the two. Anyway, the mod is named after the core ingredient, which is indeed trail mix, the way you make it is by putting together sugar, glowstone, dust, redstone, and gunpowder like so, and it'll give you four trail mix from that. With the trail mix, provided that you're in survival mode, you can't actually consume it in creative, but if you're in survival, you eat it, and then you transfer over into creative, the effects will stay on you. So, anywho, let's eat a bit. It's, uh, it's a food item, so when you eat it, if you eat just one, it's gonna give you about 10 seconds of the effect, but you can stack them. So if we keep eating a whole bunch here, we'll, uh, I don't know, we'll consume about 10 or so, and you'll notice that once that's done, the effects will have stacked. So now we have 52 seconds instead of just 10. Now you don't necessarily want to eat too much at once, because if you do, you will actually get some negative effects. Well, let's see if we can overdose on trail mix. It probably has a bit too much sugar, you know, because it has sugar. Gunpowder is probably not all that good for you to ingest, neither is redstone or... Yeah, glowstone either. They don't sound too edible. Anyway, we should be getting close to overdosing here, unless the amounts are variable. That's very possible as well. It might be... Uh, no, there we go. Huh. We are hit by Wither and Nausea because we OD'd on trail mix. If you go over three minutes, it looks like. Anyway, when you have the trail mix buff applied to you, you get to go super fast. This is me just walking. No, uh, no sprinting involved there. And you get some super snazzy Batman kapow, squish, pow. Awesome comic book effects when you uh, punch things, not just pigs. I just happen to have lots of pigs in my uh, in my inventory here because they happen to get affected by trail mix as well. So actually, let's switch back on over into creative because the final little effect, or the second to final, hold on, we'll go over the final really quickly here. If I drop right here, so we'll switch back into survival, go into F5, you get this little pow sort of effect when you drop and you're also more resistant to fall damage. Anywho, now, provided that we have over one minute on our trail mix timer, if we middle mouse, we can fireball. Boom! Now I just lit myself on fire. <laughs> anyway, we can shoot fireballs by middle mousing. Trail mix allows you to shoot fire because, you know, M&Ms are pretty powerful. So, anywho, those are all the new abilities that you have when you ingest trail mix, but you're not the only one who can be affected by it. So, let's actually go back into creative here. Grab ourselves a saddle, because needless to say, we sort of want to ride the pig around while it's going crazy. So, well actually, we'll give a trail mix to a pig that we're not going to ride first. Kapow! He has explosive flatulence. That is the technical term for it, I might add. And he'll begin to fly. And the effect lasts for, I think it's about 30 seconds. Well, we'll find out in just a moment. And if he didn't die from just the fire right there, as you saw from the neon pig in the beginning, he can actually go up in the air and he'll crash into stuff. So let's put down another pig, add a saddle, go on him, and here we go. You ready, pig? You ready? And now, we can fly him. So he's always automatically moving forwards. So back and forward, or W and S, I should say, will control his tilt up or down. And then uh, A and D, as usual, will control him side to side. We are on a flying flatulence pig. Isn't that marvelous? Now we can just totally crash him into the ground. And uh, if you crash him hard enough, I don't know if it works when you're on the pig. It might just have to be when they're... Uh, free-falling on their own, and then, oh, as you'll notice, the, uh, <laughs> the timer in the bottom right, I'm not sure if you caught that, we'll do it once more. Exit F5, put a saddle on him, and ride him, and click on him, and you'll notice that he has 30 seconds, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, we have a timer right there that'll tell us when the effect is gonna expire. So you would know, won't necessarily get caught out if you're in survival and, uh, die from a free-for-all. Okay, let's, uh, let's get off here. Let's depart, and there he goes, then he explodes. Alright, so that's how regular pigs work. Now the only way 
to, or or I should say, uh, clicking right clicking pigs with trail mix in hand is not necessarily the only way that you can give them the trail mix effect. So over here, let me just clear out my inventory really quick, and you got a preview of it at the very beginning. We have our launcher recipes. So this is a regular old pig launcher and it's crafted like so. Let's take it out of here and you can also use this regular launcher as a crafting ingredient for the Nyan pig launcher. And I'm sure I'm gonna get lots of people saying I'm pronouncing that wrong. Nyan, Nyan, however you wanna say it is fine by me. So right here we have our fully loaded launchers. Now the durability bar on the bottom doesn't actually stand for the durability of the launcher itself. It just, it shows your ammo capacity. So right now I'm full on both because they are newly crafted and left click to shoot, kapow. <laughs> so if you shoot it straight up in the air to begin with, they'll like angle back down and explode. If you shoot it straight out, then they will behave more regularly, but they'll still oftentimes end up coming back to the ground and exploding after a few seconds. So if you have your launcher and it's not completely full up, you've, uh, you've shot off a bunch of pigs like so. Actually, it's not even gonna work in creative, so let's switch into survival. Shoot off some pigs, you'll notice that the durability bar is going down. If we want to get some pigs back, we can hold right click and it'll suck up some pigs into our inventory. I don't think we can grab any of these guys up here, but grab you, suck them up into our inventory. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Okay, <laughs> I think you get the idea. So that's how the launchers work. Right click to uh, absorb pigs and left click to shoot them. Now, as you saw at the beginning, we also have the Nian Pig Launcher. So, the way this can work is you actually have to sort of shoot them down at the ground and then apply a saddle to them after the fact. So let's go back into creative, grab ourselves a saddle or two. And then if we shoot them at the ground and apply a saddle really quickly, get on them, then we're up in the air riding a Nian Pig and you can hear the Nyan Cat tune playing in the background while we're flying through the air. Hopefully you can hear that while I be quiet. Anywho, just like with the regular trail mixed up pig, you have 30 seconds before he loses his effect. He doesn't lose his Nyan-ness, he just loses his rainbow tail, which, uh, oh well, poor guy. He doesn't stay Nyan Cat forever, so. Anywho, that is the Trail Mix mod, so hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did, a rating would be much appreciated. Other than that, if you want to download the mod yourself, you can go check it out. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that Trail Mixed Pigs actually have a chance to pick up zombies as a rider. Woo! Flying zombies! And that's that. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>